yeah. So Dean, how was it to how was it uh, re, re, redoing your old role of Peter Strzok? Uh, there was some new lines, some developments. What was it like the, sec- the third time around? Well, this was I think my favorite of the bunch. Uh, we had a smaller audience, but we're so familiar with the characters and with the story. I think, uh, and the fact that we filmed this. I think this was uh, this was the best one of the bunch, and I mean, we didn't get quite the crowd reaction because we didn't have a 500 people in here. But uh, I think once uh, you do your magic and the film world jumps in there, it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty special and pretty fun. And we got it forever. It, it, it was a very hectic schedule rehearsing, but I think you seem to really enjoy yourself filming it. Oh, filming is great. It's uh, listen, that's the nature of the beast. Sometimes it gets really hectic and everybody gets very tense and. But, uh, at the end of the he's day, talking about me there. At the end of the day, it worked out well. I took all his clothes. That's why he's dressed like a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> that was your. No, just kidding. He said he was dressed like a hobo. I'm not being mean. Dean Kim will never be mean. So, <laughs> well, it's. Uh, what do you think? Uh, you know, Peter Strzok is out with a book now. Have you been watching those interviews? So I've only heard him speak a couple of times. I haven't watched the interviews yet, but I'd like to. I watched some of his. Obviously, I watched his congressional testimony and. Things of that nature. Um, I'd be really interested to hear what he has to say. Uh, I don't know if I'd be talking that much if I were him, but he's, listen, he's a savvy, he's a savvy guy. He probably uh, won't say anything he's not supposed to say. I'm not sure if he is getting legal counsel from Lisa, Lisa Page or anymore or not, but uh, uh, I, I guess maybe not. Yeah. But uh, um, I think he's probably pretty savvy. He probably won't say anything he shouldn't say, but you never know. I mean, it's, is the book supposed to come out right before the election? The book is out. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of reading it myself. Have you learned anything? No, I mean, it's very interesting. He, he doesn't quote one text in the whole book. Well, that's interesting. And the fact that, you know, the Freedom of Information Act came out the other day and Judicial Watch found 87 pages of, of stuff where they talked about how the entire Mueller team's or 27 phones or 25 phones were wiped. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. I mean... Including Lisa Pages, again. I mean, the, the media have been writing about Peter Strzok, and they're talking, they talk about the anti-Trump texts, but, but these texts actually were much more than anti-Trump, weren't they? I mean, everyone's entitled to be anti-Trump or pro-Trump. I think what you really bring out is that these texts were, they were conspiratorial, right? Now, you know, there's no doubt about it. We need to have an insurance policy in case he gets elected. Uh, we need, he's not going to get elected. No, we will stop it. There were, there were more than anti-Trump. There weren't, I mean, Trump is a great insulter, and I'm sure he wouldn't mind people insulting him, no matter who they are. But these were more than anti-Trump or insulting. It's not, it, from your experience of, of reading them and learning them. From my experience of reading and learning them, they are very damning texts. Um, some of the things that were said weren't just like the way you talk poorly about somebody. It sounded as though they were conspiring to do something to actively overthrow the election of a duly elected president. And so, obviously, that's what they're... That's the that's that's the charge against them, and uh, having having read all that stuff, I would not be surprised if it was found that that's what they were trying to do. That whole cabal, you know, Brennan, uh, Comey, Clapper, Rice. I mean, the whole thing. And then you look at the Mueller, all those Mueller investigation people having their phones wiped. It's 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 disgusting to me as an American. Um, I think that's not the way we should be handling things. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, they'll be held held to account. What a collection of people. I mean, honestly, I mean, yeah. the, when you look at what they've tweeted, but the, I think the 27 phones that have been wiped, if that was the other way around, if that was Republicans who had done that, that would be, that would be a new Watergate. Well, of course. Yeah, but sorry, Nixon, Nixon had to resign because he, he deleted 13 seconds of tape or something, something like that. Yeah, well, listen, Hillary Clinton got away with getting rid of 30,000 emails, smashing phones, and hard drives and bleach bit and the whole, I mean, it's a two-tiered justice system. There's one for the Democrats and the people who are in uh, the establishment, if you will, the deep state, dare I say, uh, and those of us who are out here in, in regular America, and I think that's wrong. So, Christy Swanson, how did it feel to meet Lisa Page again? Oh, it was good. It was my third time now. Um, what, it's, it's like every six months. <laughs> for the last year so uh yeah it's good and we're done yeah. we finished tonight yeah. feels amazing yeah. uh, 
I mean, you got some new emails and some new texts uh, from the last performance, and information keeps coming out. And you know, we saw a bit more of the personal side of her with uh, Peter Strzok's wife finding out and her concern and their relationship deteriorating. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was very important f- for me as a writer to, to make her a human being. And I think you, how did you feel about making her a human being? Well, um, how do I feel about, well, <laughs> that's, that's right. I don't I didn't, know. I didn't really ask that question properly. Yeah, so she's a public figure, but there's a human side to her. And, and how did, you know, did you notice that human side in the, in the text? Yes, definitely saw that human side in her personal text messages with Peter, for sure. That's the most revealing part, you know. There's not a lot of interviews of her. Well, th- there is more now than there was like a year ago. But um, yeah, there's uh, there's a l- a lot going on with her. <laughs> Definitely, sure yes. Sure um, it was a short rehearsal period, uh, but you seem to be really enjoying yourself today. Once you got into the into the role. Well. Yeah, it was a very, very short rehearsal. <laughs> it was a lot of hard work, yeah. and it just feels so good to be done, and everybody worked so hard, and um, like everybody, it was, you know, a group effort, yeah. and, uh, and and I'm just so proud of everyone, and, and, uh, and then I, I get to go home to my family, right? Yes. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. What was it like meeting? What was it like meeting the president? Uh, you, w- when you were playing Lisa Page at CPAC at the CPAC performance, you met the president. What was it like meeting the president and uh, and hearing him talk about Lisa Page and Peter Strzok? Um, my meeting with the president was pretty cool. He was, you know, I I could listen to him talk all day. You know, like he's just such a cool guy. He made us feel so comfortable being there and he's, he's this lovely person yeah. and very funny and yeah. uh yeah. you know he he definitely makes everybody feel like they're the only people in the room yeah. he's not like you know distracted by anything and um and you know he's super smart so it was an honor to meet him yeah. i mean you're so correct i mean he, he d- whether you like him or dislike him he has this public persona of being you know, over the top and, you know, uh, even boorish, that kind of public persona. When you meet him... Uh, he's he so down to earth. He's so down to earth. He made us feel so comfortable. Mm-hmm. He was joking. He was funny. He was mm-hmm. personable. Uh, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's why I, I just, you know, I like... I want to go golfing with him. That would be fun. Would be <laughs> so, uh, I just had a really good time meeting him. It was very special. Have you ever have you ever met anyone who knew Lisa Page, or have you heard anything about? Uh, have you ever heard uh, any whispers back about what she thinks about you in the role? I have not yeah. heard anything back. Um, uh, I don't know what to say yeah. about that. I'll get you. Actually, I don't know. What to say. Well, actually, one p- one critic um, criticized the play f- uh, for failure because it says it. it it, it, it tries to demonize Lisa Page, but actually it humanizes her. And I think that was my intention was to humanize Lisa Page. And I think it's your intention to, to bring this human character with all its flaws to the stage. I mean, how did you feel? I mean, it, there's a lot going on with Lisa. Yes, there is. But, you know, I think her biggest problem, I mean, just from what I know and you know what I've said with the all the words and it, it's there's just so much arrogance there you know it's just arrogant arrogant ar- it's just it's just that's so over the top you know and I think that's what gets in hers her and Peter's way is they they they're above the li- I don't know they're just yeah. they don't they don't think and uh, and it's it's sad because it's like they're not you know they're not doing their job they're just <laughs> I don't know how to say it. it you you got to watch it to really yeah. understand like all of the content and yeah. and uh, situation. No, you're right. They, they they feel there's a sense that the rules are for little people. I mean, th- these are FBI agents and operatives, and they're texting these messages on their work phones. Right, and I think that you know, tons of arrogance brings negligence, and that's what happened you know, with them. So, sad.
Well, listen, would you tell people where to go to find out more about the project? Bombagatemovie.com. Okay. Sorry, sorry. So where would people go to find out more? To find out more about this project, you can go to obamagatemovie.com. From your cell phone, your computer, your iPad, whatever you like, obamagatemovie.com.